Trump about to drop presidential hammer on Obama for attempting to overtake investigation. More and more is coming out about Spygate. The Obama administration tried to take over the FBI's investigation of the Trump campaign, according to The Hill's John Solomon. He covered it last night on Hannity's show and then wrote on it extensively at The Hill. Solomon claims that the FBI began spying on members of the Trump campaign to gather the intelligence that ultimately justified the collusion investigation, weeks or even months before the FBI had a formal predicate. If true, the whole thing was cooked up and premeditated. It was indeed a pre-planned coup and President Trump is about to drop the presidential hammer on all of them. That's very important. The rules say you can't use sources until you have a predicated investigation. The predication is July 31, 2016, Solomon told Hannity. The investigative reporter said he had sources and documents backing up his claim that he would be making public in his report in The Hill on Friday and he did just that. Solomon started off his well-researched piece with this. The bridge to the Russia investigation wasn't erected in Moscow during the summer of the 2016 election. Trending, breaking, hundreds of raging migrants just stormed US border checkpoint, videos. It originated earlier, 1,700 miles away in London, where foreign figures contacted Trump campaign advisors and provided the FBI with hearsay allegations of Trump-Russia collusion, Euro documents, and interviews of government insiders reveal. These contacts in spring 2016 some from trusted intelligence sources, others from Hillary Clinton supporters occurred well before FBI headquarters authorized an official counterintelligence investigation on July 31, 2016. The new timeline makes one wonder, did the FBI follow its rules governing informants? A very good question and a